today I want to talk about what is the calcareous soils and how to identify and measure calcareous soil and also briefly talk about the nutrient management for calcareous soils and also update you current status and research in the soil testing calibration for those soils and also I show you a few examples how I'm making uh, for a lot of recommendations for calcareous soil right now. First, the calcareous soils. You can call it a different name. People call it high pH, the alkaline soil. But one thing don't make it, don't make it confused with the sodic soil. Sodic soil due to the sodium carbonate. So our calcareous soil is due to the calcium carbonate. So that's a different. Uh, if you look at the official definition for calcareous soil, it's this. But actually easier, if you look at that, this is a, this is a chemical equation. So you, if your soil have a calcium carbonate, carbonate uh, add the acid, and you see the CO2 release. So that is a pretty simple. Especially you look at this is a, those pictures. You, your soil here, you add any acid, you will see the bubble, and that is indicated your soil is a calcareous soil. And in the soil in the Miami Dade County, we collect the, those representative samples. And we find the highest calcium carbonate in a potato field with the Mara soil, about 94% of calcium carbonate, pH is 8.1. And we also find the wine soils from the Everglades National Park, never farmed before, is calcarea concentration only 3%. And the pH is also relatively low. So calcarea soil can be different. And average in Miami Dade County, about 55% calcium carbonate, pH is 7.8. And how to calcareous soils are formed? Calcareous soils are mostly young soils because they did not go through the weathering, so calcium carbonate still stay in the soil. Or some old soil because there's an area too dry, no rain. So actually I review lots of papers from Pakistan because they're typical calcareous soils. And also in homestead area, our soil is because of parent material. This is a limestone, too much of there. And if you're from the central south, uh, North Florida, your soil with a high pH probably causes those. Earth moving operation, trenching too deep, you bring those material up. All contracting field material, like those new houses around it, may fill it with high pH is a gravel or, or some high pH material. All this is too much lining material. And also very typical, you keep watering with uh, with a high pH uh, irrigation water. So that is also another reason with uh, with uh, your soil pH increase and increase. Uh, how popular is the calcareous soil? But so far, really no soil map to indicate the calcareous soil. But in general estimate, calcareous soil is cover thirty percent of uh, our Earth's surface. So let me bake. It's a it's a very lots of calcareous soil. You can find it anywhere in the world. And same thing in the U.S. And also, we don't have a calcareous soil map, but in the future, I probably will make one. But you can find the calcareous soils anywhere in the in the U.S. I just give like a few examples: uh, Alabama, California, Georgia, Kentucky. Even the last week, I went to California for the uh, ASA meeting, and uh, I saw the uh, soil. It's a very gravelly soil, just like uh, similar like a soil in the homestead. So you can find uh, those calcareous soil anywhere. So I don't surprise you see you have a uh, lots of calcareous soil in your in your area. So how how to identify how to measure? And this is the standard method used for the USDA soil service lab. This is the devices in my lab. So we made this uh, 15 years ago. So it's still working very well. If you send your soil to my lab. So our, add your soil here, add acid, and get the CO2, and I measure volume like calculation. So pretty simple. So main point there, current soil extract, identify and recommend on the such soil, only ABTA for, for phosphorus only. A critical P level at 10 parts per million. A soil P in farmer the calcareous soil around 30 parts per million. And other nutrients such as Potassium did not yield any reasonable, reasonable calibration. Effort 
I'm going, then I ask a contact me. Based on the my uh, the research on the phosphorus, and also based on that study, so I made the, my own recommendation for the based on ABT DTTA for phosphorus. So if lower than 10 part per million, and that's a, a low. And uh, if higher than 70, it's too high. So I use the certify in the middle. So that that is not a calibrate recommendation. It's my recommendation for uh, phosphorus. So a summary, calcareous uh, soils are typical in Miami-D company, and in Monroe County, and more and more high pH soil are reported from other counties in Florida. ABDDB is currently used for the testing soil P, and the middle three may be the attractive for calcareous soil in the future. Uh, you have uh, office as an office of for lateral conditioning for calcareous soil right now. Ex experiments for the soil testing calibration for calcareous soil are in the progress. Hopefully within two or three years, so we have our official uh, fertilizer recommendation for phosphorus, for potassium, for the nitrogen. So that's our PhD student work up. Thank you.